One year three months later. Many things had happened in the year that had passed. The blood clone Naruto had graduated from the academy with the clan heads and a few civilians had failed the test that followed but at least they had a good run. Mizuki was caught by Anbu while trying to steal the forbidden scroll for Orochimaru since Naruto had passed. Sasuke, Sakura and Naruto was in Team 7 with Kakashi Hitaki. Ino, Shikamaru and Choji was in Team 8 with Asuma Serutobi. Hanada, Kiba and Shino was in Team 9 with Kurenai Yuhi. These three were the only three teams that was able to make it past the test Kakashi was impressed by Sasuke he was cold smart and strong just like he was and he was also an Uchiha the last the only chance to make it up to Obito but failed to see and judge on his and Sakura. The first three months had all been team training and had only been doing only team work exercises while Sasuke was getting special lessons the other two had never complained about this though. Naruto was used to not being taught anything and Sakura was happy just watching her Sasuke train. Right now Team 7 was doing a C-rank mission of protecting their client from bandits the name of this particular client was Tazuna who seems to be a bridge builder the team had already been attacked by the demon brothers that had been taken out by Sasuke and Naruto they had questioned Tazuna who tried to emotionally blackmail them. Although it was only good on Sakura. It looked like Sasuke was more eager to do the mission and prove himself and thus it was decided that they would continue though now thinking back Kakashi had wondered if it would have been best if they had abandoned the mission as he shouted for his genin team to take Tazuna and run. Of Kaos running was not the style of an arrogant Uchiha, and being the last arrogant Uchiha he needed to show just how arrogant the thieving Uchihas were so did the only thing he knew that an Uchiha would do, attack without any plan whatsoever. Zabuza Momochi saw a brat charging towards his water clones he smirked as he mentally commanded his clone to beat the brat into a bloody pulse until he begged for mercy and then kill him very slowly. Naruto had come up with a plan but as he opened his eyes after his planning he sees that Sasuke was already far away and only Sakura and him left so he needed to protect the client. When Sasuke was close enough Zabuza made a strong kick that sent him flying into a tree knocking him out cold for the clones to have some fun but just when they started to work they heard a voice call out fire release. Fire dragon flame bullet the clones turned only to see a glimpse of the flame before the clones were incinerated. Everyone looked and saw to a man with brown hair brown eyes Aizen from Bleach Pick is available at the end of the page he was fairly long, almost Haku's height, on a branch of a tree and strangely the warm smile on his face sent chills down everyone's spines. Attacking children what is becoming of this world, the man said as he jumped out of the tree. Shorty why don't you go and pick a fight with someone your own size, Zabuza said. So mean there's no one my size here. But my name is Yari, Yari Uzumaki and I'm almost 13 so of anything I am longer than people my age and so are my skills. Everyone was shocked but Tazuna, he had no idea of what was happening, for different reasons, Sasuke and Sakura were shocked because they thought Uzumaki was just a made up name, Kakashi because he had not known there were any Uzumaki alive and that powerful Zabuza could not believe that the brat was so small and Haku was shocked because she knew that name and if he really was who he said he was then his Zabuza Sama was in more danger than he knows. Haku used water release. Shunshin no Jutsu to go next to Zabuza he was already making hand signs ice release. Sinbon storm as he fires hundreds of ice aimed at Yari. Yari did not even blink in surprise as he saw the hunter Nin attack him with a bloodline while Kiri was in war with bloodline clans within Kiri. He just slammed his hands and said wind release. Great breakthrough as a strong gust of wind blew all the Sanbans away. Haku what do you think you're doing? Zabuza said angry that she had blown her cover. Sorry for disobeying Zabuza Sama but I have heard of this man before. The new bingo book that had come in a few days ago had a new entry about a person that had appeared out of nowhere a couple of months ago. A whole platoon of Iwa Anbu were sent to investigate who the person was and only one made it out alive and that was only to deliver the Sandame Suchikage a message and I quote, Next time you send anyone after me you and your village will be forfeiting your lives since then this person was labeled with a high S class with a flea on site warning, Haku said in complete seriousness. 
Again everyone was shocked it was not every day a whole platoon of Anbus were destroyed just to send a message. Haku have you gone mad that brat is your age there is no way he is that strong now go finish him, Zabuza said not believing that a brat was that strong. Ice release. Ice blade Haku said as he ran towards Yari with Haichunan speed aiming strike a critical blow on the man. Snake sword. Swift horizontal slash the man said as he bought his sword out and cut the ice blade and his flesh but the cut was not as deep since he had pulled out on instincts. Haku jumped back and started going through hand seals he know his jutsu he could use was low due to him being able to blow his sinbons away he needed to end this and sadly she had to kill him demonic mirroring ice crystals he said as the water from the lake creating mirrors around them then he quickly steps into the mirror closest to him. Haku had started to jump from one mirror to the other at mid John and soon he started throwing sinbons aimed at critical spots that Kenshi was dodging calmly the man eyes were calm as if trying to find a weakness it was getting frustrating for Haku no matter how much he tried none of the sinbons hit him. Well this jutsu is getting boring whirlpool sword. Second stance rotating whirlpool said Naruto as he channeled chakra to his hand and eyes before starting to rotate unlike the Kaden of the Hyugas this rotation was not a defensive this was pure offensive this rotation sends a highly concentrated wind blades through the sword. The wind blade were strong enough to cut and shatter all of Haku's mirrors and even hurt him badly. Yari walked towards the fallen Haku and held his sword near his throat. Zabuza seeing him walk towards Haku, drops the almost completely drained Kakashi and ran toward Yari with his Kubikiribocho drawn Zabuza was running as fast as he could he jumped up to deliver a strong slash Kubikiribocho, heavy downward swing. Yari having sensed Zabuza coming prepared to counter Whirlpool Sword. Fourth stance rising sun he said as he channeled his fire chakra through the sword making it catch fire and slashed the sword upward there was big clash but flames aided blade was heating the kubikiribocho and would cut it in half so Zabuza rolled himself back. Che. You're good brad but don't let it get to your head ninja art. Hidden mist jutsu. Let's see you survive this. The voice echoed through the mist. Wind release. Great breakthrough Yari said blowing the mist away revealing Zabuza near the river putting Haku beneath a tree. Gur don't get cocky brat water release. Water dragon bullet a dragon made from water rushed toward Yari who was going through hand seals of his own earth release. Earth style wall he said as he finished suddenly the earth rose shielding him from the water dragon. My turn earth release. Earth Dragon Bullets, as a mud dragon's head raised from the mud made by the water dragon and started shooting mud bullets at Zabuza. Zabuza was currently running on water trying to avoid the brat's bullets, this brat is strong I don't know how much longer I'll last even after the chakra I stole from Kakashi I'm at half my reserves and yet the brat doesn't look like he's even winded last chance water release. Gunshot as he shot bullets to destroy the mud dragon while still doing and seals for another jutsu water release. Great waterfall jutsu he said as a waterfall started to be made. Hum seems like you still don't understand the difference. Between our levels Karama style. Fire breath, he said. As he blew an enormous fire from his mouth that not only incinerated the water jutsu but also everything in its way the only reason Zabuza was even alive was because he was so shocked that he forgot to channel chakra to his feet and fell into the sea Kakashi was mentally thanking Naruto for pulling him away when Zabuza dropped him even Sasuke who was woken up by Sakura shacking him to death was shocked and was wondering how a person his age was so strong. To think you were able to overpower my most powerful jutsu by the nature it is strong against. Zabuza said while thinking, this is not good he's too strong and I'm running low on chakra. Well that took a lot out of me then I thought. Yari said as he had lost about one third of his chakra. Now that you're all ready to listen I am just coming from Gato's place after beheading him although a few bandits managed to run away, he said in a matter of fact voice. What so you mean I was wasting my chakra all this time for nothing, Zabuza said angry that this man did not tell him before. No what I did was completely necessary to show you my skills now listen closely I want to offer you my help in taking down Yugura, Yari stated completely serious. Quote exclamation mark. What but why would you help us, Zabuza asked confused. My reasons remain my own you just have to take me close to Yugura and I'll deal with him for good, promised Yari. 
Well I guess we could use your help but did you really have to use so much force, said Zabuza. It was necessary to make you believe that I was not a brat remember, reminded Yari. Che fine when do we leave, asked Zabuza. Tomorrow at 0600 hours if you're late my offer will cease to exist, stated Yari. What? What about Haku he's hurt? Zabuza shouted. It's fine he just has some scratches he'll be good by tonight, Yari stated. Well hello ah, I see you're awake duck ass. Yari greeted the team 7 that was coming towards him. Gur just you wait Itachi with the power that his guy possesses I'll finally be able to defeat you, Sasuke thought. Well we just wanted to thank you for saving me and my student here, said an eye smiling Kakashi. I demand you give me give me all your jutsus, Sasuke said only to be poked on his forehead. My my don't you have an arrogant student Mr. John and I almost couldn't stop myself from killing him, Yari said with a smile. Yes I really must work on that, Kakashi said with a frown. It seems so since next time I won't be able to stop myself, Yari warned with a smile which sent chills down Kakashi's spine, damn it he's not joking. How dare you I'm a MMPH, Sasuke started but Kakashi stopped him, I really have to work on it don't I? Well I guess I have to find a place to stay the night don't I hey bridge builder do you know a place in wave that I can crash for the night? Yes anything for the man that saved the wave from Gato's rule, Tazuna said just you wait we'll even name the bridge the Great Yari Bridge. You give me too much credit but I could accept the Great Uzumaki Bridge him it sounds much better than I thought it would. That night, Naruto, was walking in the forest while the wave was celebrating he knew he couldn't have done this in front of everyone so he had to separate himself from the people. Yo, long time no see Naruto or should I say blood clone of mine, a shadow behind him said. Hello Naruto-sama I have done as you asked I placed the sealing art. Dujutsu seal on Sasuke he won't be unlocking his Sharingan unless you allow it, and formed the clone. The shadow came out reveling to be to be Yari Uzumaki aka Naruto Uzumaki smiling, yeah I checked, it was perfect. For the Chunin exams in two months you will need more power, Naruto said as he placed his hand on the head of the clone dispelling and using it again but now was low to mid Chunin level in strength. I'll be there before the invasion starts make sure you take Gar out and take him to the base oh and don't go to the base for a few days Orochimaru might decide to visit. Naruto told the clone. You have gotten a lot stronger Naruto-sama, said the clone. Yes and it's all thanks to the snakes, my clan and Kurama, answered Naruto. Flashback. Naruto had found an underground library which was sealed with hundreds of blood seal to make sure that only a Uzumaki could make it through. It was filled with Uzumaki sealing scrolls and Kenjutsu scrolls and even Jutsu scrolls Uzumaki Kenjutsu's Genjutsu's Taijutsu's Naruto was thrilled to learn so he made 10,000 clones to learn everything he could. But sadly Naruto could not find any way to master fire since Orochimaru was not a fire type the scrolls there were limited it was getting frustrating. Well brad now there is something that I could help with I have a Jutsu that may solve that problem for now it is called the fire breath said Kurama. Flash back end. Well let's get back before someone notices, Naruto said as they went to celebrate with everyone today he had got Gato transports in his hand now so he could sell his seals on a wider range and earn more money. 0530 hours. Zabuza was already ready and having a quick breakfast Yari had handed 50% of Gato's wealth to the people of the wave and gave all of them jobs in the newly named Uzumaki transports so everything was cheaper no more beggars were seen on the streets Zabuza had really felt bad about doing the mission but he needed to get money if he was going to help the rebels in Kiri. It was now about 0550 hours and Zabuza and Haku that had a few bandaged injuries here and there were waiting for Yari they knew they were early but they were the ones that needed the help so they knew they had to make it work, a few minutes later Naruto was seen coming toward them which confused them why was the boy in team 7 coming here and where was Yari. Zabuza, Haku I see we're all here but why do you seem confused? Aren't you Kakashi's brat you why are you here and where's Yari? Well I guess I have some explain to do don't I? 